Oh, why you no game? Ultimate Muscle. Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another Why You No Game episode. Um, I do apologize that this one's late. The next one will be on schedule. I promise. Um, <laughs> Ultimate Muscle. Legends vs. New Generation. I actually, I love this game. Like, and I, I went back to playing it again with my kids. And I swear... Like, it's like, it was like I was playing it brand new again. Well, one, because my data had been erased accidentally by a friend who didn't like to read prompts when they were turning stuff on. And he didn't read the prompt that said, would you like to reformat? And just went and reformatted my memory, reformatted my memory card and completely wiped all my data off of it. And I was like, well, damn. Thank you so much for that. That was... I was really appreciative after all that hard work I put into this game. And I had 100% of this game. Like, I had all of the, the, the little toys and stuff. I had all of the wrestlers. <laughs> all of the, the... I had everything in this game. I know I had everything in this game because I played it for two to three months straight. Just playing it. Like, I literally unlocked everything. Every single item. Like, that's what, I swear that it pissed me off so much. But, uh, I've been playing it again, though, playing it with my kids, letting them experience it. They were having fun with it. And it, and I was thinking about it. I was like, this, this, this could come back. I mean, this was made by Bandai before they merged with Namco. So, I was like, this, this definitely could have come back. Like, this, this is one of those that I would love to see get a return. I mean, I think I know that the story is pretty much ended um, for Ultimate Muscle, but I think that they could redo the whole story from the beginning, like sort of like how people were taking the approach to Dragon Ball Z, but just redo the story from the beginning and and go with the format that they had before, where you're playing with different individual characters, of like and you're playing their particular part of each story, and then you get to see from each person's perspective how things happened and how they all linked up. That would be cool. And plus you could also add in a little few things to kind of fill out some information that may have been missing in the original plot to um, Ultimate Muscle. So, um, the great thing about this game is that it has, is, it's got like your conventional wrestling moves as well as it's got the, these weird ass outlandishly hilarious ones. Um, They've, all the characters generally have like a they have like a special attack. They have a special grapple. They have two. I think they have like two sp different special grapples depending on which direction that they're they're grabbing their opponent. And then they all have a super special, which is, ha comes with a with a cut scene and all this, and, and they do super high amounts of damage. Um, Playing this game, unlike normal wrestling games, this is straight knockout. Like, there's no pinning and downfall and stuff like that. Like, you're straight up knocking the hell, knocking them the hell out with whatever you got. If they can't get up and move, then the match is over. That that's how this one works. Um, which is cool, and I like that. I do think, however, they could take the approach of giving more diff more varying specials and stuff um I, w I wouldn't even say change the button setup because the button setup that the game had before was actually pretty good um though i i, I would want them to clone this this one because this to me is the better game the ps2 game that came out it it didn't look as good it had a few issues with frame rate from what i remember and it didn't it just didn't feel the same as playing the, this one on the GameCube. Plus, this one, you could create characters on up to, like, 40 of them. And the PlayStation 2 one, if I remember correctly, did not have that at all. Even though it did add um, extra characters in that happened to show up later on in the Ultimate Muscle series that did not appear in this game. So, like, to me, going back and encompassing all of that stuff, bringing all of those characters together to, to make, like, this nice long lavish story and certain some characters unlock other characters for you to get their particular parts of the story so you have to play with them which which is what I would like to see and that would make it so much better um 
and then give you the option to create your own wrestlers. Um, though with the way Ultimate Muscle is set up, you your your wrestlers' moves are based upon their personality type and how you class them. Like that's how their their move sets are made. Um, you choose the the super special yourself. But I, I don't know the exact algorithms that were used for it. Like, I, and I can't pretend I do. But I would love to see that that system come back so that when you do create a character, like, you're surprised at, at how his moves and everything work. Usually with how I, how I designed my characters when I was playing this and how I started doing it again, <clears throat> I would design my characters based around what I would class them as using the names that are what they have available to class your character and I would name the character that class I don't know why they didn't just allow you to they like the characters have have the name of the class of whatever you create them to be um, it's, a, it's a weird system and unfortunately I don't have a capture card to show you guys because otherwise I would I just show you everything and explain it but um, <clears throat> I would love to, I would like that that system to come back and leave it with the 40 slots don't go any higher don't go any lower leave with the 40 character slots because i think that works out very well um because <clears throat> technically ultimate muscle itself has what you've got your 20 normal 20 overall character roster 20 characters that are available then uh i think it had 10 additional characters that were available and then you could create 40. So you could have like 70 characters in the game at one time. So I, I'm like, I'm like, this, like, that's, I think that's okay. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> but um, that aside, I would like them to, to give characters additional specials. Like Kid Muscle, for example. His, his super special is the Muscle Millennium. He kicks you into the air, jumps off one side of the... the the ropes and then launches into you and presses you into the other ropes good keep that move but his back his super special from gra grappling from behind could be his his inverted version of the kaniku buster which is hit the version that he borrowed from i think the character ascara because ascara created the inverted kaniku buster but kid muscle did it too if i remember right he did do it in the series uh, <clears throat> he had already had a modified version of the original anyhow with the way he did it differing from King Muscle but I, I would like to see all that come back um, they could borrow from the WWE 2K series and have multiple different attacks for each button just changing the attacks up depending on what button you're using not what button but what direction you're using like stationary has an attack Forward has an attack, back has an attack, and then to the side has an has each one of them has a specified attack for that input. And the same thing with grapples. Like you go into different grapples depending on what you're using, and then um, from there you'd have like four to five different attacks that you could use from that grapples from that particular grapple. Which I, I, I don't see that being a problem. Well, that's something I think that they could do. And it would fit well with this. And it could literally end up with more moves for each of the characters. Which would be great. Now it would also allow your uh, creative characters to be more robust. Um, <clears throat> they could also add in. They don't even have to use just the specials that were created in the show. They could make up specials for characters that could be just as outlandish as the ones that were in the show. So, <clears throat> so there's a lot of room to grow for this. Or like, and if they did this, they could possibly bring it back and make a series out of it, which is something I think would be cool. Because Ultimate Muscle, even if there's no game for it, I think as a series, this a series of not game, no no animated series for it. I, like I think a bunch of games would be great. Hell, games could actually reinvigorate a, an animated series or the, a manga. I don't know if the manga's done or not. I haven't, I haven't ever, I haven't ever actually checked into the Ultimate Muscle manga. I might actually do that, because, like, I, I, I like the anime. I don't really like the way four kids kind of like you know, <laughs> toned it down. But I do, I did like the anime itself a lot. So, <clears throat> I 
I would love to see that come back. And I'm like, Namco Bandai currently could get the license to do that. That'd be cool. Like, it would, it's, it's one of those things. It's another thing, another unique game that just disappeared that we're not seeing around that there's nothing to replace it. Like, it just got swallowed up and just disappeared. Like, and, and to me, that kind of sucks. And I would love to see it come back. But that's enough for me. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.